Hey, I'm Jocelyn and it is almost Christmas time. And one of those funky things that we always drink at Christmas is eggnog. And I swear to you every year, Mark goes, what should we put in the eggnog? Well, there are about like six or seven different things you can put in eggnog, but these are four of my preferred ones. And so I thought we would just have a little bit of a taste test. I had Mark buy eggnog. He got the fancy eggnog. This is from a local, sort of local dairy um, overvice and it's really good eggnog just in and of itself, but we're going to add a few different things. We're gonna do Irish whiskey, spiced rum, brandy, and bourbon. You can also do rye, you could do blended scotch whiskey, um, you can do an aged rum. So there are different things that you could try in there. You could even like have fun and like put some cherry flavored brandies or something like that in it. It's totally up to you. One thing that I always put in is fresh nutmeg. Maybe it's just because I really love fresh nutmegs and also they're like the prettiest things on earth. But anyway, we're just gonna go, we're gonna pour our eggnog and I've got my little um, measure here and we're gonna put an ounce and a half in each glass. So we're gonna start, we'll just start with the Irish whiskey because it's closest. I've already shaken this up. It's a good idea if you have pre-made eggnog to shake the eggnog up a bit um, before you start it. And okay, so we're gonna do the whiskey first. And I'm gonna taste all these and then afterward, I'm gonna have Mark come in and taste them too. And I've got my pretty little stir stick. Y'all, I love these glass um, stirs. I buy them for like a dollar here and there at antique stores and I just think they make everything pretty, so. All right, Irish whiskey, and I just got home from Ireland, so this is probably gonna rank pretty high today. I forgot my nutmeg, so off you go. And I'm gonna just, I have a little zester here. I'm just gonna put a little over the top, and yes, it makes a difference, because not only does it change the flavor, it also changes the nose. Mmm, it does make it so much better. Irish whiskey is strong. It also kind of brightens up the richness of the um, eggnog, I think, because, yeah, the, the flavor of that whiskey just changes it. So we'll do the spice rum next, and that's going to be different because, you know, rum is a lot sweeter than Jameson's. And I am just eyeballing um, how much I put in of the uh, eggnog. I'm kind of just getting it to where the ice moves. And we're gonna do rum. Stir it up. Kind of looks curdly if you don't stir it in. That's kind of gross. Nobody wants that, right? Okay. So pretty. I don't think people can see the little flakes, but it'd be nice if you could. Oh, I like that. It's nice and sweet, but it's kind of, you know, the spice rum is something a little different. It's good and tasty. Mm. And I'm really like waiting for Mark to get in here and like drink all of these and see what he thinks of them. And if you watch any Simply Jocelyn cocktail videos, you'll know that bourbon is one of my favorite things on the planet. So I have high hopes for the bourbon. Yeah, I don't love that. Maybe a little too punchy for my taste. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying that about my good friend Woodford. Anyway, next we will do, finally, the brandy. Again, we're just doing like an ounce and a half. Um, and, you know, you can do more or less depending on your own personal preference. For some of these, I might do less. Maybe the brandy or the bourbon might have been better if I'd only done like an ounce. Or that might have been a little bit better, I don't know. That might be something to play with. All right. This is the eggnog my parents made. This is exactly what they did. Um, it must have always been brandy when I was a kid because yes, as a child, I used to steal my parents' eggnog and I would sip on it. And this is, this is what reminds me of childhood Christmases. So um, I'm gonna ask Mark to come in and taste all of these and see what he thinks. Actually, maybe I should have him do a blind taste test. I'm not gonna tell him what's why. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, it's blind because I've mixed them up. Yes, I, I got yes. it. Do you remember okay. which one's which? I do, so I think. Is there any order you want? <laughs> Left to right, honey. Left to right, okay, yes. so number one. All right. 
Use a stir stick, don't use your finger. You well, I don't know. I don't want to like mess up the flavors by putting a by putting your a brandy stir stick in, in a bourbon, maybe? Mm. Let's just here you go. We're not gonna save any in that mustache. <laughs> it's not bad. Not sure what's in there. Okay. But I'll put that in the front. Okay. Number one for now. Number one. Stir this up with my stir stick. Oh, thank you for using the stir. That's what we have for. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Hot? Is that the bourbon one? Because it's a lot of, it's a lot, it's a lot of something in that one. It's a lot Woo. of something in that one. Okay, so you found the bourbon. And I swear uh, to you, it's an ounce and a half. Is that brandy? Don't tell me. Don't tell I'm not going to tell, tell you, me. but the bourbon was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put that one further. Okay. That's just too much bourbon. Brandy? No, they can't tell me. I'm gonna guess this is brandy, maybe. Hold on. Blind taste test. That's why you always write down when you do a blind taste test, like what everything <laughs> is. So then you know. That one doesn't taste like it has any alcohol in it. Well, let me taste that. Mmm. It has alcohol in it. And I know which one it is. So, but. Order them. Tell me what you think first. Okay, bourbon, last. <laughs> it's too strong. You know it's bourbon. One, two, three, four. So what's number one? One, two, three, four. This is spiced rum, brandy, Irish whiskey, and bourbon. Cool. So now we know our favorite is spice rum. I actually really think that the spice stuff in there is what makes well, it. The knob too. The rum's right. I mean, it just kind of it kind of evens the whole thing out. It like rounds out the flavor of the eggnog. So. Which means we gotta buy some more rum <laughs> to uh, get through the holiday season. Yeah, so uh, yeah. thank you for letting me try. Thanks You're for having me. What's your favorite eggnog mix? Is it plain or is it one of these or something else? Put it in the comments yes. below Absolutely. so we all can figure out a new way to do things. Yeah. And if you have any. Different things. Different things or any holiday cocktails you'd like Jocelyn to make in a video, please Ask put away. in the comments below. All so. right. See you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks. Merry Christmas. <laughs>